kin ko no ba muli ra ching kun. Tong hai tun kun ching, ni bobo ji mata, ni pun na je, dol pi kik nyunyan. Rundi hao donga ku hunga bi, wana kumbes, ching pala mul tong king ba na kong kek. Tung ting ta chun kun neg muli ra best. Tak kom just tak miki grabal mogo. Kaci chu ai thao donga, tol pata bong molia gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampong pa, bola wana chikni. Pa mule slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli ra best. Tong hai tuam jiji yu malith pa ang ninko tu. Tol ba da bong kualia gando da nago chuchut. Kaci chu ai thao donga. Yo malis ka in kotun, chilo mulera de ne bobo, unka kun biskang, ba mulera. Shag jikin lor chawa ta uma, kava volba mulchi kumana. You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He he called the bounty off. That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute. I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. I'd like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brzezik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find you there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Valka prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Yes, well, I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. So I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry, I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. giving out any auto prints to my fans today. So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I 
I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This Gandina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my bullying career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. If you can prove yourself in the ring by beating all these other so-called duelists, I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect the bounty for killing me. Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless to me. Up to you. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes, then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janus Nal. Just tell her Kandor has sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the Mysterious Stranger!
Gerlon losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Look at this, a real live celebrity right here in my shop. Winning that swoop bike race has made you into something of a local hero. If times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Good day to you then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Masala, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but 
I've seen you Jedi in action. There's there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that part. The Vulcus came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait, let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history taxes. I hardly consider myself a legend, Kyle. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the raccoon disease, of course. You have the serum? Impossible! How did you get this? No, wait, I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Hmm, let me see... Yes, this is it! A cure for the Rakgul disease! With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone! The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I could afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. I'm sorry, but all my credits are spent trying to keep this medical facility operating. I can't spare any more. You're threatening me? I don't want this to become violent. Look, here's an extra 50 credits. That's all I have, I swear. I won't tell anyone, I promise. Now please, just leave me alone. That was unworthy of you. Zelka has the serum, certainly, but only because of your extortion. With a few extra credits, truly worth it. Blow it! If you'd brought that Rat Ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No, you had to go and do the honorable thing. Ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Yeah, why would a human want to help you, freak? I will not stand here and let that poor man be stoned. You there, children, leave him alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. <laughs>
Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Or would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on the post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking to them. I, I think we're done. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Listen to me, people. That is a terrible... Scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibungka sha chona si ichua biongbo joni mina mamba to mule ra haku gri kat gota parabola. Mokau dangya foki cha chiska to punta kakaspaka bano oto. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. Watawama muliri, kin kun shopeshwa, no ba mule raji, jone yuturi yang chi, either bola un chi chinek, ba muli selima wanga kun bikin. Thank <laughs> you.